With summer travel underway and Independence Day around the corner, you're probably ready to kick back and relax. Uh, unfortunately, scammers are counting on you to do just that. Travel fraud is one of the biggest money makers for criminals. And CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us live from New York to tell us what we need to know. Jill, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Let's start with this. Give us some of the signs of scamming when it comes to booking that trip. You know, you're surfing the internet or you receive an email or a text and it's their big letters. It says free vacation, right? It's so enluring, but it's likely not free at all. Of course, so many of these offers are light on details. The promoter is trying to rush you into making a quick decision. Here is the key. If someone asks you to pay by wire transfer, gift card or crypto, run the other way. It's a huge red flag. Once you've sent the money, almost impossible to get it back. By the way, if you're buying travel insurance, you want to make sure that the agency is legitimate and licensed. Use the website of the U.S. Travel Insurance Association. That is USTIA.org. So really, if it sounds too good to be true, it, it probably is. There are some scams that are specific, though, to foreign travel. What are some of the things we need to know there? You know, if you're venturing abroad, you're going to see these sites and they claim to be able to help you get your international travel documents, like your visa, your passport. Just know these sites, they're copycats of the Department of State's own website. And these other folks, they're making money by charging you really high fees and you can avoid those fees. Just use travel.state.gov. By the way, if you are brave and planning to drive overseas, be sure that when you secure an international international driving permit, you only can go through three different places, Department of State, AAA, or the American Automobile Touring Alliance. That's definitely a good note because a lot of people may not necessarily be thinking of that. So let me ask you this. If I do find out, oh my gosh, I have been scammed, I don't know what to do, should I go to the Better Business Bureau? Is there some other avenue that I should go to report that scam? Absolutely. You're going to go to FTC and they have a special part of their website, reportfraud.ftc.gov. And you should also notify your state attorney general. You can do that and find that website at consumerresources.org slash file a complaint. Yeah, the last thing you need is to have, you know, trying to book a trip and all of a sudden you're out and you're trying to figure out, well, I can't get this money back and you're up the creek. So mm. as always, Jill, thanks for joining us. We appreciate your time. Mm -hmm. You can see Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. For more analysis, go to JillOnMoney.com.